Are you interested in moving tag values from your Compact or ControlLogix controller into a SQL database? In this video, we're going to cover the steps on how to move two tag values from a 5069 Compact Logix controller into a MySQL database using Factory Talk Optics. For this demonstration, we will be using the following components. Factory Talk Optics, MySQL Workbench, ODBC Data Source found on your PC in Control Panel and then Admin Tools, Studio 5000 Logix Designer, Factory Talk Logix Echo, and they will all be running on a Windows 10 Pro image managed by VMware Workstation Pro. We'll start by opening Optics. Once Optics is open, select Default. Select your window size and select Create. Now select Configure Communications to Devices. Select New Station. This is where you set up the driver for optics to communicate with your PLC or other data source. Select RA Ethernet IP Station and then give your driver a name. Select Next. For the route, you're going to add the IP address of the controller. Select Next and then select Next again. You can either use the offline file or change it to online tag browsing. We're going to select the offline ACD file by selecting the Browse button. Once the ACD file is selected, the tag import will automatically begin. For this example, we'll use a controller scope tag and a program scope tag. So select controller tags and program main program tags. Select Next. Eventually, you should see the tag import successful message appear. Select Exit. I'm going to change the default font size to 16, so we'll go to the default style sheet under UI and change font size to 16 point. Under the Screens folder, we'll create two screens. Right mouse click and select New Screen. When the screen is created, rename it to Main. Create a second screen called Data. On the main window, select New and Containers Navigation Panel. Double click on the New Navigation Panel. Drag Main Screen over to the Highlighted tab. Drag Data Screen to the other tab on the Navigation Panel. You can see under Properties, we can continue to add panels and tabs as needed. Select the data screen in the project tree. Right mouse click and select New, Base Controls, and Label. Drag the label closer to the center of the data screen. With the label properties showing on the right hand side, click on the link icon under the Text Properties. This will bring up the browser window. You can scroll down to Comms Drivers, and start expanding each element until you see the tag folder. Select controller tags and then scroll to the tag you're going to use. In this case, we're using the accumulation value of a timer called data underscore gen element zero. Select it and then hit the select button. Add a second label to the data screen and then select the dynamic link next to the text property. At the top of the browser, type the tag name in. In this case, it will be D underscore random number and then select it. To make sure everything is working as expected, let's run the emulator to make sure our tag values are changing. Now we're going to switch over to MySQL. Select the local instance under MySQL connection if you're prompted. We're going to create a new schema by selecting New Schema icon. Give the new schema a name and then select the Apply button. When the Review the SQL Script window appears, select the Apply button. Then select Finish. We have an optics project with two tag values and we have a MySQL schema ready to receive those tag values. But we need to create the data pipe between those two applications. This is done within Windows using an application called ODBC Data Source. Go to Control Panel and select Admin Tools. Within Admin Tools, select the 64-bit version of ODBC Data Source. Select the System DSN tab and select Add. Select MySQL 8.0 ANSI driver and select Finish. Assign the data source name as Data Pipe. Leave TCP IP as is and type localhost. Leave the port at 3306. When you installed MySQL, you configured a user and a password. Add that username and password here. Use the arrow down key and select the database name you created in MySQL. Then select Test to confirm the connection to the database. If the connector configuration is correct, you'll get a Connection Successful window. Select OK and OK. The connector name you just configured should show up in the data source list. Select OK. 
Now we're going to switch back to factory talk optics. In the Project Explorer, select the Logger folder. Right mouse click and select New and Data Logger. You can use the default name or rename it to DLX01. In the Properties pane, leave the mode as periodic and the sample rate to one second. Under Add Variables to Log, click the plus sign. Select the link in Variables to log and browse to data underscore gen zero dot ACC. Click the plus sign again to add the second tag and browse to D underscore random numbers. We're going to leave the store blank for right now. Now that we've set up the data logger function with the two tags we want to log, we'll connect those two tags to our MySQL database using the data connector pipe we defined earlier. Select the data store folder and then right mouse click and select new ODBC database. Change the name to DBX01. In the properties windows on the right, change the DBMS type to MySQL. For the DSN name, use the same name that you used when you built the ODBC connector. In this case, it is DataPipe. You will also use the same name and password that you use when you configured the connector. Since we have just defined our data store, it is now time to configure the data store property in the data logger. Open up the DLX01 data logger you just created. Now, Drag the data store DBX01 in the project tree over to the store field in the data logger property window. It is now time to test the configuration. Hit the run emulate arrow and allow the project to run. Select the data tab to make sure we are getting live tag values. Now stop the emulator. Now we're going to switch back to MySQL. Select the schema you created, right mouse click and select refresh. Drill down to the tables, then drill down to the data store name you defined in Optics. Right click on the data logger and hit Select Rows Limit 1000. If everything is configured correctly, you'll see the timestamp tag values show up for the duration that the emulator was running. Understand that Factory Talk Optics actually created the data logger table within the schema that we created earlier in MySQL. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out to your local ES&E account manager or automation specialist.